the air distribution, we were talking about the tubing. We have two systems available in Europe. We're just doing this one with the, uh, it's called in-floor, where it was actually be poured into the concrete. We also have available in Europe an on-floor system, which is a different profile. It's narrow, flat, oval tubing. And I've got some pictures here. Both systems are flexible tubing. Both can bend and both systems have very smooth inside. So it's corrugated on the outside and smooth on the inside. So airflow is very, very good and they also don't get dust and particles and so forth trapped in it. And we're using filters and all that so that's not a big issue but it is made so that it, it's smooth inside. Is that flat version available here and what are the dimensions of it? It's not here right now. We wanted to start with the the in-floor, this system is fewer pieces. You see here, every time you have a connection, you have to have pieces for that and so forth. So we felt that to get started in the States, keep it simple. And I anticipate that we'll offer this. Uh, Paul informed me that what happened is the in-floor in, in Europe was like this. The on-floor is like this. So it's become much more popular. So, so we'll do that, but we want to be able to provide the product and inventory and so forth. We have a fairly long supply chain coming from Europe, so we felt we wanted to keep it simple. And this, there, there are differences also. When you look at Europe, that's, a, that's being put into a concrete building. We have stick frame and, and stud walls and everything else, so this can work just fine with that, okay? So you've got, basically these are the main items that we're offering, the tubing comes in 50 meter rolls, that's about 162 and a half feet of a roll, it weighs 38 pounds, which is kind of a nice thing for installers. Are there any installers here, or are you guys all architects, designers, and so on? Installing this stuff, is absolutely, if you do it, you can do it yourself, or if a contractor does it, they will love you. Because you can walk onto a job site for an average house with two rolls of this stuff over your shoulder and do the whole house in a day. Because of the clip system with the O-ring seals and the clips, it is an extremely easy process to put it in. It's all lightweight and easy to work with. This stuff, you take a saw and you just zip it off, put an O-ring on it, and slide it in, take a little soap on the O-ring, slide it in, you're done. What about hanging it if you're, you know, what about your hangers, what do you usually use for, for hanging it? We don't have any set hangers, you can yeah. use just about any good option, you know, you can use ties, standard ties that you would use with plumbing type yep. fixtures, and uh, everything's fine. This stuff is, is virtually, you, you'd be able to play with it here at the end, it's, it's practically bulletproof, I mean, you can jump up and down on it, and pour it in concrete, put it in walls, just about anything. So there's not a lot of worry about it. It's very easy to work with. You just don't want to screw it. No, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Don't put it near the, uh, where, where the contractors can. It's not self-sealing. <laughs> it is two layers, so if you put a screw in the outside layer, it won't affect the inside layer. That is, but, no, don't screw through it. The boxes, are made, we've got one here again, we'll show you that. We have two sizes of these manifold boxes and plates. This is a 10 tube plate, and what I have here is a six tube plate. So those two options are available. And then you have the, the duck box here. And then this is a comfort duct, it's called, which is actually open on both sides, and is like an accordion. It's made to go above a doorway to pass through a wall. Mm -hmm. So it allows air to flow through the house without having to blow it directly in. Is it, what is it like on the inside, is it hollow? It's baffled. So uh, it's sound, ba sound deadening and Light. baffled but allows for uh, flow through. That's and then, for people who like keep their doors closed all the time. If you just kept your doors open, well, there's really no need for those. Yeah, but you don't want to design a system for people leaving their door open. You know, and usually we're putting the fresh air into the bedrooms 
bedrooms tend to be closed. You know, people, especially kids, right? They don't want you around. So, so I wouldn't design a house and then when you sell the house, you have to tell people to leave their doors open. You, you design it to, to allow for, for flow. Got a big gap the door. Well, you, you're welcome. <laughs> However you want to do it, if you want to do that, that's fine. But it, we, we do want to make sure that the flow is adequate. So this is an option that you can use. Some people have just cut the door higher, and that's not a huge deal. All right. This is a sleeve. We are learning some lessons in the market. We, uh, the project up in Portland, the guy bought all the tubing and everything for a house. The contractors came. They put in all the register boxes where they needed them. They ran the pipe back to the mechanical room, brought it into the mechanical room, and cut it off. About four feet short of where the box is. So they ran all this ducting back, and then they called me, and they said, I need 16 of those. <laughs> Which is a sleeve. You can put the both pieces in. It clips. It's actually got clips in it that the stuff slides in and clips in place. You put the O-rings on. It's not a huge deal. You don't have leakage in any significant amount. But it kind of isn't good to take and have a home run come all the way to three feet short and then call me up and needing a whole bunch of sleeves to finish the system. So it's, a, it's licensed tubes together? Yes. Okay. You can so. use that to use cracks of tubing? Yeah, if you want to really utilize every bit of your tubing and so forth, then yeah. It, it, most jobs, you're not going to have a lot of leftover and, and a lot of... We, we offer 50 meter, which is 162 and a half feet lengths, and we offer 20 meter lengths. So you can pretty much plan the job and then get, a, get 50s and 20s to, to meet your needs. This is a typical, very easy installation. So you bring air into the bedrooms. What we recommend is two ducts per person on the normal scheme. So two into each of these two bedrooms. This is a small kid's bedroom or guest bedroom. One is usually adequate. So that's a total of five fresh air coming into this unit from your HRV here. And then return air comes out of the bathrooms, one, two, and three returns out of the kitchen to make up five. All right? The living space receives its air from air flowing into the bedrooms and then through the doors and potentially those compo ducts into the living space and to the kitchen and bathrooms. There's no need to put fresh air into all the living spaces and into the bedrooms. That's a new concept, because we're used to putting air, because we use air to heat and cool, into every room in the house. If it's a ventilation system, if you think about it, how often are people in both the bedrooms and the, and the living spaces? You only need to breathe at once. So you can use less flow and less air to very efficiently and effectively have fresh air in the house that you're always breathing fresh air. 